If you missed our last video, we have spent three incredible days exploring Bogota, Colombia and enjoying all the sights, sounds, and tastes. Mm, wow, that's delicious. On the last day, we challenged ourselves to climb the famous Monserrate Hill. It was essentially 170 flights of stairs, but the views were totally worth it. We made it to this hill. It was all going great until the last day when we had our worst day of travel yet. Oh no. Our camera's, it, it must have fallen on the lens. It fell out of the backpack, but you can see that's dented. And then this won't open or close. Well, I can't zoom or do anything. I mean, look, it's busted out the side. Oh, wow. I can record you. Uh, so a bit of a stressful turn of events. When we tried to pay our taxi driver, as we were running back to the apartment, the taxi driver handed me back the bill and told me that it was fake. And then he showed me the difference between a fake one and a real one. We went ahead and paid him, and then he didn't even drop us off in the right spot. As we were running, um, the camera fell out of the backpack. So we have a broken lens and counterfeit bill that we got from an ATM. Are you sure that's the one you gave him? He didn't swap it? That's probably what it was. That's what the scam is. I freaking knew. As soon as he said that your bill isn't real, that's so frustrating. Okay, so as I'm editing this, I realized that we were a little bit emotional on the day and maybe didn't do a great job of filming what was happening. On this last day, we had a time crunch to get back to our Airbnb by a certain time. Unfortunately, there were no Ubers that were gonna be available. So even though we had been told not to take taxis in Bogota, we had no other choice. We hailed the first one that we saw on the street, hopped in, did everything we thought was right, asked the driver to start the meter as soon as we were moving, tracked our movements on the GPS. The guy was really friendly. When we got to our destination and got ready to pay, we handed the guy a bill and he handed us back what we thought was our bill and said, sorry, that's a fake one. We paid him again and ran off to our Airbnb. Later, we found out that that's a common scam where they pocket the bill you gave them hand you a fake one, claim yours was fake, and get you to pay twice. So then as we were running back to our Airbnb frantically, the camera fell out of our backpack, hit the cement, and the lens broke. So not only had we just gotten scammed by our taxi driver, but we had broken our primary lens two weeks into our three-month vlogging trip. It was a bit much. I was trying to be so cautious. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. If we would have gotten like a like a photo of the taxi driver's license plate or something, maybe we could have reported them. But that's a real scam and it happens. So after getting ripped off by our taxi driver and smashing our camera lens, we figured there was no better way to unwind than with the cafe. It's just what I needed. <laughs> Beautiful latte. I ordered a mocha that was made with 100% cacao and no sugar. So I'm just intrigued. I'm excited to try this. Before we knew it, it was already time to catch the night bus to Salento, a town deep in the heart of Colombia's coffee triangle. This time we took an Uber and made our way to the transportation hub, Terminal El Salitre. At this point, we thought all of our transportation woes were over, but that was not the case. The AC has been on blast the whole time. Mucho frío. I'm so tired, but I can't fall asleep. All right, we made it to what we think is the right bus station. Bolivariano is the company that we wanted to take. So we're trying to figure out what city to go to, what time it's leaving. Hablas ingles? We're looking for the bus to Armenia or Pereira. Armenia le ofrezco nueve. Directo? Directo. Llega a Armenia y de Armenia Salento es como una hora. Una hora. Yeah. Okay, okay, every hour. Dos boletos for the diez. Diez. ¿Me permite el pasaporte? Me regala la firma, por favor. Acá el respaldo, puerta número tres. Gracias. Oh, okay. Fumbled our way through that with very little Spanish. 
Spanish. We're taking the 1030 bus to Armenia, and then from there we'll try to catch a bus to Salento. It should go every hour. Uh, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> I think they just called our bus. Nice. Much easier when they say the individual number <laughs> instead of 4,000. Four yeah. yeah. We made it onto the night bus. Yay! The reason we took the night bus was to save on a night of accommodation and hopefully be able to sleep on the bus. Thus far, it's been pretty nice. Pretty nice experience. Really comfortable seats. It's got a bathroom. It's got Wi-Fi. It's got AC. I think the seats recline. Should be a nice experience. I hope we can actually sleep. If we don't sleep on this bus, then we're getting to Salento. And we have a full day. 6 a.m. I mean, we can't check into our place until like 3, I think. And the business, we call this foreshadowing. Comfy? Yeah, not bad. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I guess it works. Oh. Huh? Celsius, but it feels like it. Yeah. everything? I think it's 57 degrees out here and it's much warmer than it was in there. Yeah, like at least 10 degrees. Ooh. Oh. We got here two hours earlier than expected. We left at um, about 11 and they told us it would take eight hours, but it's only. 5 a.m. So it took six hours. <laughs> it's much warmer in here. Shoo. We got an orange drink from a cafe. The only reason we got a drink from a cafe was because we wanted seats. And there were chairs inside this cafe. Otherwise there were no benches in the station that were open. Yeah, not many seating options for a bus station. The bus to Salento, we think, leaves at 6. We asked somebody, Salento, they said 6. But I heard that the buses don't really go on a schedule. They just kind of leave when they're full. So we'll probably head back close to 6 and see if we can find a bus. What a night. You can't buy tickets to get to Salento. You just pay on the bus. So you walk all the way to the end of the terminal out the doors, there's a sign for Salento and buses start running every 20 minutes to every hour, depending on who you ask. Right on time. 6.01. We're here. We're here. 
Gotta get reoriented to a new city again. We have arrived in Salento. Ruth has gotten 45 minutes of sleep. Yep. I've gotten zero. I think we're both eager to explore this place and see what all Salento has to offer. But I think we want to do that after we find our hotel. Still sleeping? Take 10 more minutes. <laughs> I think we're both ready to explore this place and see we get there. Drop my cardigan. Ah. And then when you get to to Salenta, so once you get to Salenta, thanks for watching and we'll uh, see you tomorrow with day one of Salenta.